Hi guys, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we want to continue working on the login view controller. So what we want to achieve is that when the user clicks on the sign up tab over here, it's going to show the elements that pertains only to the signing up process. And of course, uh, when the login tab is being selected, we don't want to see things like the password confirmation as well as the sign up uh, button over here. All right, so the first thing we want to do is that I noticed that I made a spelling mistake over here and I'm going to quickly correct this and this is going to be a small letter I. All right, so let's come over to the login view controller and I'm going to add a, a couple of IB outlets over here. So it'll be IB outlet week var. It's going to, I'm going to create a segmented control of type UI segmented control. All right, so let's go to the main.storyboard and I'm going to uh, just connect the segmented control right there. Okay, just click this over here and let go over here, okay? And I also want to create the uh, IB outlets for all the elements over here. So let's come over to, I think the faster way for me to do it would be to just open the login view controller, uh, another panel uh, to, to just connect the uh, IB outlets. So what I can do is to hold on to the alternate button and click on the login view controller. And this opens the new panel over here. And I'm going to just very quickly just uh, set up the outlets over here, drag over here, and I'm going to type in email text view. Okay, password text view. Password confirmation text view. Uh, this is going to be called the arrow label, arrow, arrow label. Okay. And this is going to be called the forget password button. All right. Looks like I can't do it this way. Why is that so? I think it could be a bug on Xcode. Uh, do I need the forget password label as a IB outlet? Maybe I don't, but I certainly do need it as a IB action. All right. So let me just set this connection as an action instead of the outlet. And I'm going to type in forget password button tap all right and i'm going to click on the connect button and for the sign up i'm going to create an ib outlet so this will be called sign up uh, button sign up button and lastly i'm going to put in the login button as well all right guys so i've uh, set up all the ib outlets over here except for the forget password because i don't think there's a need for me to really make any changes to this and therefore i don't need a reference to the forget password button all right uh do i oh maybe i do so sorry about that because uh during the sign up uh during the sign up tab i might not need the the forget a uh, password button over here. So let me just quickly uh, add the, the IB outlet again. Just now it failed, but let's see if it's gonna fail again. Forget password button, hit the connect button, and now it connects. So yep, I don't know, Xcode is weird sometimes. Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly close this and just uh, open this in the main, um, the main panel over here. So we do also want to create a segmented control uh, uh, IB action. Okay, I forgot about that. Uh, let me just create this manually. Add IB action, IB outlet, uh, sorry, IB action, func, segmented control, changed. Okay, and I'm just gonna pass in sender, UI segmented control, all right. I think it's better to do it manually, okay? And let's go over to main.storyboard and let's right click over here. Okay, let's bring this to the center. Let's right click over here. And over here, I've written this segmented control change under the receive actions. So let's click on this and let's hook this up. And this will be called, um, I think you'll be editing change, I believe, okay? Oh, sorry, it'll be value change. Let's click on value changed. All right, let's close this. Okay, let's come over to the code again, and I'm just going to print out uh, sender.selected segment index. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly run this to see what this, this uh, prints out. Alright, so my simulator has just loaded. So let's click the get started button, and let me just click on the sign up uh, tab over here. 
and uh, surely enough, uh, something is printed on the console and it shows me one over here. So when I click on lock in, it should show me zero. So the index uh, for lock in will be zero and the index for sign up will be one. All right. Okay. So that's good to know. Okay. The next thing we want to do is to create a page type at the top. So over here, I'm just going to create an enum over here and this is going to be page type. Okay, maybe it can be a private enum because this does not have to be accessible in other parts of the, the app. So for this case, I'm going to have two cases. So the first case is going to be login and the second case is going to be sign up. Okay, as per our tab, uh, as per this uh, uh, menu over here, this segmented control over here. And I'm going to do var uh, page type, current page maybe. I'll just call this current... Uh, page all right so current page will be of type page type and it will be by default lock in all right and I'm gonna just open up these brackets over here too and add in a did set okay so what a did set what a did set will do is that every time this uh, property or this variable changes this uh, everything within this blocks uh, can be caught all right so this is what we call a property observer over here Okay, it looks like we have to declare this a private as well. So private var current page. Okay, I think um, maybe let's just call it this current page type. I think this is uh, more consistent with the type of object over here. All right, so over here under the segmented control change, uh, I'm going to do it this way. So um, I'm going to do uh, current page type equals to sender dot segmented control sender.segment uh, segment selected segment index so just now you know if this uh, seg selected segment uh, segmented index is zero then we want to say that hey this current page type is of type login all right otherwise this is going to be of type sign up all right guys so i hope this is easy to understand okay maybe let me just break this down so it's easy to understand so if um, let's do if sender dot selected equals to zero current pitch type equals to lock in okay else current pitch type equals to sign up all right this is the long form of what uh, line 44 is doing so if you don't really understand a uh, line 44 is basically this logic over here all right, so I hope you get it. And I'm just going to kill this because uh, that's, uh, it's better to keep this as one line. It's, it looks a lot neater as well. So over here, I'm just going to do a print over here. And I'm going to print um, current page type. All right, so let me just hit the command R to run the simulator. And let's see what happens when I click on the, uh, on the tab itself. So let me click on sign up and it shows me sign up. When I click on login, it shows me login as well because this is printing up the page type over here. All right, so what do I want to do over here? Let's uh, have a look at my notes. All right, I'm going to create a function over here. This is called, uh, it's going to be a private function, and this is called setup views for. All right, so I'm going to put in the um, page type over here page type and this is going to be of type page type all right so what we're going to say is that hey if the page type is of type login what are the elements that we want to see and what are the elements that we want to hide all right so uh let's have a look over here so let's do password confirmation field okay dot is hidden all right so we're going to check okay if page type is of type login and then we want to hide this, okay? Because if this is true, page type equals to lock in, then is hidden equals to true, all right? If page type is of sign in, then this will be false. So this will be assigned as false, all right? So the next one that we're gonna do is sign up button dot is hidden equals to page type is lock in. So if we are on the login tab, we want to hide the sign up button. I think that makes sense, right? And the forget password button dot is hidden equals to page type equals to sign up. 
okay and lastly login button dot is hidden equals to page type equals to sign up all right and what else uh, every time we set up a page we also want to erase the uh, error message so uh, what can I do uh, over here we can do um, error message error label dot text equals to empty all right so every time we switch the page if we have an error we just want to blank it out okay I hope that's easy to understand and uh, let's just run the project and see what happens over here oh I forgot to do uh, one thing over here and every time I make a change to this current page type I need to call setup views so let's do it this way setup views for page type and I'm just gonna pass in the current page type over here and I can delete this line over here and the last thing that we want to do is that uh, on view did appear super dot view did appear animated I want to ensure that when my view first appear this has to be of type uh, login all right so let's click the play button and let's see what happens in the simulator All right, let's click on the get started button to launch the login page. So it looks like uh, we see a uh, we see a little bit of a animation over here where it gets hidden. I think this is a bad idea. Sorry, guys. So let's put it in view the load instead. All right, let me just kill this and let me run the uh, simulator one more time. All right, let me click on the get started. And yep, so over here under login, we need the email and the password. And yes, we do need the forget password as well as the login button. So this is consistent. When we click on the sign up button, okay, we want to have the email, the password and the password confirmation as well as the sign up uh, button over here. So again, this is consistent with the sign up form as well. All right, so far it looks good here and I can just dismiss and launch the uh, login uh, view controller again. All right, guys, I guess this is all I have for you in this lecture. I don't want to make it too long and uh, I'll see you in the next one.